bad to be circumcised on the eighth day? Da pogledam malo, da li je loše to što on bio obrazan osmog dana? Is it bad to be a Jew? Da li je loše biti jevrej? Is it bad to be of the tribe of Benjamin? Da li je loše biti iz Benjaminovog plemena? Is it bad to be religious? Da li je loše biti religiozan? Is it bad to be zealous? Da li je loše uh, biti revan? I don't hear the answer. Ne čujem odgovor. <laughs> Is it bad? Je li loše ili ne? <laughs> It's bad if you're counting on those things to save you. Loše ako računate na te stvari kao sredstvo spasenja then it's bad. Onda je loše. Why? Zašto? <laughs> Because it's so self-deceiving, isn't it? Zato jer je toliko samozavaravajuće. Do you know who are the, some of the hardest people for us to reach in evangelism? Znate koji su neki od najtežih tipova ljudi za nas da ih dosegnemo u propovedanju? The religious. Yeah. Oni koji su religiozni. The religious ones. Oni koji su religiozni. See, and the more religious they are, The harder they are to reach. Što su ljudi više religiozni, teže ih je dosegnuti za Hrista. The more they are stuck in their tradition, the more they are stuck in their ceremony, the harder they are to reach. Why? Što su god dublje u tradiciji u ceremonijalnim tim stvarima, teže ih je dosegnuti. Zašto? You see, because they place all of their confidence in that stuff. Zato što svoje njihovo povjerenje i uzdanje se nalazi u tim stvarima. And consequently they count on that stuff for their salvation. I kao rezultat toga oni računaju na te stvari kao sigurnost njihovog spasenja. You see Paul says listen all of that stuff it's not good it's bad. I Paul kaže sve te stvari one nisu dobre one su loše. He says when I saw the truth. Paul kaže kada se ja saznao istinu. I realized that All of this that I had it wasn't good. Svatio sam da sve to što ja imao nije bilo dobro. It was bad. It was giving me a false assurance. Davalo mi je lažnu sigurnost. It was giving me a false hope. Lažnu nadu. A false salvation. Lažno spasenje. And so I trashed it all. I put it all in the garbage and I took Jesus Christ. I sve sam to odbacio, stavio ga u smeće i prihvatio sa Krista. I took Jesus Christ, he said. Uzeo sam Isusa Krista, on kaže. And with that, I sa tim, he gained things. On je bio u dobitku. You see friends, when you come to Jesus Christ, vidite kad dođete Isusu Hristu, and you empty your life of everything that is precious to you. I ispraznite svoj život od svega onog što je vama vredno i And you take Jesus Christ. I uzmete Isusa Hrista, you will get these things too. I vi ćete dobiti ove stvari koje Pavle dobio. When you put everything that you are placing your trust in that is not Jesus Christ in the garbage, Jesus gives you something. Kada uzmemo sve one stvari u koje mi verujemo, imamo pouzdanje i stavimo ih u smeće, a uzmemo Hrista, Isus nam daje tada nešto. Five things he gives you. Isus nam daje pet stvari. You ready? Jeste spremni? Knowledge, righteousness, Zna- power, fellowship and glory. Get them? They're right there. Okay. Znanje, pravdu, silu, zajedništvo i slavu. Okay, we're going to fly through these. Ićemo, proćemo brzo kroz ovih Because pet. Because I know you guys are getting hungry. Znam da ste gladni. Number one. Top Salvation number one. in Jesus Christ brings with it the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Kao prvo, spasenje počinje sa znanjem o Isusu Hristu. See when Paul said, listen, everything I've been placing my faith in, I have thrown away and now I take Jesus Christ. Vidite kad Pavle kaže sve ono što ja verovao sam bacio i sad imam Isusa Hrista. The first thing he gained, prva stvar koju on dobio, was the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Je bilo znanje o Isusu Hristu. And that's where salvation begins, isn't it? It begins with the knowledge of Jesus Christ. I tu je gdje spasenje počinje, počinje sa znanjem, sa znanjem o Isusu Hristu. Now friends, let me just as an aside say here, everything Paul listed in verses 5 and 6. Uh, samo da pogledamo sve ono što je Pavle nabrojao u, u petom i šestom stihu. You know, circumcised the eighth day, 
Obrazanje. Jew of the tribe of Benjamin, Pharisee, it's all those things. Jevre, Farise, sve ove stvari. God is not impressed with that stuff. A Bog nije toliko impresioniran sa tim stvarima. God is not impressed with our rank. Bog uh, nije toliko impresioniran sa našim statusom. With our tradition. Sa našim, našom tradicijom. With our race. Sa našom rasom. With our sincerity. Sa našom iskrenošću. He is not impressed by that. On nije impresioniran s tim. He is impressed with this. On je impresioniran ovim. Verse 8. Osmi stih. More than that. I count all things to be loss in the view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them but rubbish that I may gain Christ. Ja sve držim za, za štetu prema prevažnom poznanju Krista Isusa Gospoda svojega koga ga radi sve ostavih i držim sve da su trice samo da Krista dobijem. You see, that's the point here, Paul says. Paul says, knowing Christ far surpasses anything else you can have in life. Says Paul says, he says, knowing Christ is so much more valuable than all of those other things I had, so I gladly give them up. Paul says, da kaže, Znanje i poznavanje sa Hrista je toliko više vredno i bitno da sam ja bio spreman da ovo sve drugo ostavim. In fact, he wants to make this point so emphatically. On želi toliko da naglasi ovu činjenicu that in a, in the Greek da u grčkom originalu when you look at the beginning of verse 8 kada se gleda početak 8. stiha in the original you have these the sequence of five words u originalu grčkom imate a uh, a uh, redosled sekvenciju par pet reči that when you would translate them into english and i'm not sure in yugoslavian but in english they would make no sense kada bi pokušali together. prevesti na engleski ne bi imala nekog smisla so if you read them in greek and translated them directly to english Ako bih čitali u grčkom preveli na engleski direktno. The beginning of verse 8 would read. A početak 8. stiha bi bio sljedeći. But rather therefore at least even. Good luck. I'll just sit and rest da while you. Da uh, više. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Vi menažete. Oh, you do? Excellent. Thank you. Right, they they're, they're just a bunch of words. They don't seem to come together make any sense coming together. Skup reči koji baš na našim jezicima nema toliko smisla. Right, it's almost like they were thrown together just at random. Koda su onako slučajno skupa napisane. You see, but Paul here is trying to make an emphatic point. Ali Pavle ovde želi da naglasi jednu činjenicu. You see, in verse 7 he says, everything that I once counted as gain, I now consider as loss for the sake of Jesus Christ. Jer on u sedmom stihu kaže sve ono što mi bijaše dobitak to primih za štetu Krista radi. But now. Ali sad. But rather therefore at least even way beyond that. Ali Paolo hoće da kaže da je mimo iznad svega toga I count all things to be a loss. Držim sve stvari da su trice da je šteta. All things. Gubitak, sve stvari. Not only those things I listed in verses 5 and 6. Ne samo stvari koje se nabraju u petom i šestom stihu, nego sve stvari. I count all things to be lost. Nego sve stvari da su štete i gubitak. In exchange for knowing Jesus Christ. U poređenju sa, sa znanjem i poznanjem Isusa Hrista. You see, he says, when I saw Jesus, how he really is. A, on kaže, kada sam ja pogledaj i upoznao Hrista onako kakav on stvarno je when i saw the truth about jesus kada sam ja a, spoznao istinu istinu o isusu hristu and i looked at everything that i had i pogledao sve ono što sam ja imao and i compared everything that i had to what jesus christ is i uporedio sve ono što sam ja imao sa onim što je isus paul says i recognized 
that all that I had here had to go into the garbage. Onda sam shvatio i razumio da sve ono što sam imao mora da ide u smeće. It is worth nothing. To ne, ne vredi ništa. Compared to Jesus Christ. U poređenju sa Isusom Hristom. You see friends, vidite dragi moji, you can't trust anything. Ne možete da verujete ničemu. You can't trust your wisdom. Ne možete da verujete vašoj mudrosti. You can't trust your intellect. Vašem uh, intelektu. You can't trust your mind. Vašem umu. You can't trust your own religious instincts. Ne možete da verujete svojim vlastitim religioznim instinktima. You can't trust any of that. Paul says it's all loss. Paul kaže ne možete ničemu tome da verujete i sve to gubitak. Anything that you place your allegiance in that is not Jesus Christ, Paul says, throw that in the garbage and take Jesus. Paul kaže sve ono što vi položite svoje povjerenje i lojalnost a što nije Isus Hrist, bacite u smeće. You see friends, you and I cannot earn salvation through our own works. Vidite dragi moji, vi ja ne možemo da zadobijemo spasenje kroz naša vlastita dela. There is not one thing that we can do that God looks upon and says, "Man, you deserve salvation because you did that." Ne postoji ni jedna stvar koju vi ja možemo da uradimo koju kada Bog pogleda, on bi rekao, "Zbog toga ja moram da ti dam spasenje." We cannot gain God's favor as a result of our own strength. Mi ne možemo da budemo u milosti Božoj, zaradimo Božju naklonost zbog naše vlastite snage i sile. Paul says it's all loss. Paul kaže da je sve gubitak. And when a religious person boasts about their religiousness, i kada se religiozna osoba hvali svojom religioznošću, When you boast about how religious you are, you are claiming something that is not even yours. I kada se hvalimo našom religioznošću, mi se hvalimo nečim što stvari nije naše. It could happen to us, can't it? I to može i nama da se desi za ne. We could get proud about our prayer life. Mi možemo da postanemo jako ponosni uh, po pitanju svog molitvenog života. We could get proud about our Bible study. Možemo da budemo jako ponosni na svoj, uh, svoju naviku proučavanja Biblije. We can get proud about our witnessing. Možemo da budemo uh, ponosni uh, kada je pitanje naše misioniranje. Or we could begin to think that God is pleased with us as a result of our human effort. Ili možda počnemo da razmišljamo kako je Bog zadovoljan s, s nama zbog napora koje, ljudskih napora koje mi ulažemo. Do you know that if you pray regularly, Znate ako se, da li ste znali ako se redovno molite? And you study your Bible regularly? I proučavate vašu Bibliju redovno? And you witness effectively? I uh, efektivno svedočite o Hristu? Do you know where all the credit goes? Uh, znate uh, kome ide sva zasluga za to? It goes to God who is operating in you through his Holy Spirit. Ide Bogu koji je u stvari radio kroz vas putem svog svetog duha. You see that's what overwhelmed Paul when he was confronted with Jesus Christ there on the Damascus road. To je ono što je preplavilo Pavla kada se susreo sa Hristom na putu za Damas. See when the Lord stopped him and began to talk to him and the Holy Spirit began to illuminate his heart so he could see Jesus the way Jesus really is. Kada ga je Bog zaustavio kada je Duh Sveti Bog Duhom Svetim počeo da osvetljava njegovo srce da bi po prvi put mogao da vidi Isusa onako kakav on u stvari je. When Paul saw that, kada je to Paul video, he realized je that all of his religious credentials, da svi uh, sav njegov religiozni status koji on do tada imao, were manure. Je bio uh, đubrivo. And Jesus Christ was everything. A da Isus Hristos bio sve. the surpassing value of knowing Jesus Christ that's the first thing he got he got to know who Jesus Christ is prevelika prednost poznavanja Isusa Hrista on je 
prvi korak je bio da on zna koji je Isus Hrist. You see, salvation involves the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Vidite, spasenje u sebi uključuje znanje u Isusu Hristu. But salvation also involves the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Ali spasenje isto tako u sebi sadrži i pravednost Isusa Hrista. Verse 9, and may be found in him not having a righteousness of my own derived from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which comes from God on the basis of faith. I deveti stih kaže da se nađemo u njemu ne imajući svoje pravde koja je od zakona, nego koja je od vjere Isusa Hrista pravdu koja je od Boga u vjeri. Do you know what Paul spent his whole life doing? At least his adult life. Do you know what he spent it doing? Znate kako je Pavle proveo čitav svoj život odrasle osobe? Doing exactly what he says here in verse 9, trying to find righteousness as a result of his own works. On je pokušao upravo da uradi ono što je pisao u devetom stihu, da pronađe pravdu kroz dela koja bi on činio. That's why he spent his whole life doing. To je ono, upravo zbog toga ono kako on prvo čitao svoj život. You see, he believed that he could earn salvation out of a perfect adherence to God's law. On je vjerovao da može da zaradi zadobje spasenje savršenom poslušnošću zakonu. What a burden he carried around with him. Koji je to teret koji on sasvom nosi okolo. What a guilt trip. Koja krivica koju uvijek imao sasvom. What a deception. Koja... Koja je prevara, koja je zabuna. And Paul says, when I met Jesus, I gave it all up, this idea of trying to earn my own righteousness. I Pavle kaže, kad se sreo s Hrista, ja sam odustao te ideje da ja zaradim svoju pravednost. I gave it up. Odustao sam od toga. I gave it up gladly. Radosno sam odustao od toga. You see, friends, you and I will never be righteous by what we do. Vite, dragi moji, vi i ja nećemo nikad biti pravedni zbog onoga što vi i ja činimo. But he spent his whole life doing it. A Paul je upravo, upravo proveo čita svoj život pokušavajući to da učini. Friends, human righteousness on the basis of works does not please God. Dragi moji, ljudska pravednost koja je zasnovana na ljudskim delima koje ljudi čine nije nešto što je uh, zadovoljava Boga. Do you know what the best we can do? Znate šta ono najbolje što mi postegnemo da uradimo? Filthy rags. A Biblija to naziva prljavim uh, haljinama. Filthy rags. Prljavim haljinama. The best you and I can do is come short of the glory of God. Najbolje što vi ja možemo da postignemo jeste da a, nismo ni blizu slave Božije. So how am I going to gain righteousness? Kako ćemo vi ja onda da a, dobijemo pravednost? How are you going to gain righteousness? Kako ćete vi da dobijete pravednost? What is righteousness? Šta je pravednost? It's standing right with God, isn't it? A, to je biti u pravom a, a, i u čistom, opravdanom odnosu s Bogom. It means God has accepted us, isn't it? To znači da nas je Bog prihvatio. It means that we have been accepted by God. How am I going to be accepted by God as a result of my own efforts? To znači da smo prihvaćeni na strane Boga. Kako će ja biti prihvaćen od strane Boga a, a da to bude zasnovano na onom što ja činim? No, you are going to be accepted by God when you take by faith the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Bićemo prihvaćeni na strane Boga kada vjerom prihvatimo a, pravdu Isusa Hrista. He will accept you. On će nas prihvatiti because Jesus Christ paid the penalty for sin. Zato što je Isus Hristos platio a, cenu za naš greh. And when you take God, when you take Christ, kada prihvatimo Hrista, God gives you Christ's righteousness. Bog vam onda daje Kristovu pravednost. He accepts Jesus Christ in your place. On prihvata Isusa Hrista namjesto nas. And since Jesus Christ perfectly satisfies God and you are in Christ, i zbog toga što Isus Hristos u potpunosti zadovoljava Boga, a mi smo Isusu Hristu, then God is satisfied with me onda je Bog zadovoljan i s nama i prihvata nas. You see, Paul says, I'm prepared to give up this thinning, fading robe of my own reputation. Vidite, Pavle kaže, ja sam spreman da odustanem i da dam ovu uh, moju tanku i prljavu haljinu uh, koju sam ja uh, napravio i izgradio u mom životu. In exchange for the glorious 
robe of righteousness that I get through Jesus Christ. I da ju dam u zamenu za veličanstvenu haljinu pravde Hristove. Paul says, Pavel kaže, I had a life of trying. Moj život je bio ispunjen životom pokušavanja. I tried it all my life. Čitav život sam pokušavao. You know, I, I would fulfill all of these requirements and I would add it to the asset side of the column, to the ledger. Ispunio bih sve te neke zahteve zakona da bih dodao tamo na onaj zbir svih zahteva koje sam ispunio. And for a while I would look at that column and I would see all of these assets. I onda bih pogledao u tu kolonu koja predstavlja sve moje duhovne uspehe. Oh, and I would be so proud, look at me! I onda bih bio ponosan na sebe i rekao, oh, pogledaj kako sam dobar. But then I met Jesus. Ali onda sam sreo Hrista. And I looked at that same column that once I thought were assets. I onda sam pogledao istu tu, isti taj red za koji sam smatrao da predstavlja moja postignuća u životu, dobitak. And now I realize that it's all loss. I onda sam shvatio da je to sve u stvari gubitak. And that Jesus Christ is everything. I da je Hristos taj koji je sve. I realize that I fall short of God's standard. Al shvatio sam da nisam ni blizu ispunjenja Božjeg standarda. You see friends, self-righteousness. Vidite dragi moji, naša pravednost so dangerous. A, a, naše samoopravdanje je toliko opasno. Self-righteousness is so deceptive. To je toliko, a, to je velika zabluda. You see, self-righteousness meets man's standards. A, naša a, samopravednost zadovoljava ljudske standarde. Look at me. I'm here, suit and tie, preaching the gospel on the Sabbath. My neighbor is at home drinking coffee. I'm better than him. A mi kažemo, pogledaj mene, ovdje sam u dijelu sa Biblijom i kravatom, propovedam riječ Božju, moj komšija kući pije kafu, ja sam bolji nego on. Look at me! Pogledajte me. Is he here preaching? Did he return his tithes this morning? I did! Je li on ovdje propoveda i daje novac za propovedanje mađelja? Ne, ja to činim. While he's going to head down to Brewer's Retail and spend his money on a two-four, I'm giving it to the church. Look at me! On troši svoj novac na alkohol i pravo da ja dajem novac crkvi. Pogledajte mene. You see, that's self-righteousness. It meets or exceeds man's standards, but it falls horribly short of God's standards. Vidite, to je ta ljudska pravidnost koja zadovoljava naše ljudske standarde, ali nije ni blizu zadovoljavanja Božeg standarda. That's the deception. To je zabluda. That's the deception. To je zabluda. Oh, friends, you know what? We can become so self-righteous about what we eat and what we don't eat. Znate, mi možemo da postanemo toliko samo pravedni na osnovu toga šta jedemo ili šta ne jedemo. I eat cheese. I eat cheese too. Jedemo sir nas dvojice. The best that you and I can do as a result of our human efforts are filthy rags. Najbolje ono što mi možemo da postignemo našim ljudskim naporima jesu prljave krpe, prljave ponjave. Paul says you see when I took Christ I gladly gave up everything I had and in exchange for that. Pavle kaže, vidite ja kad sam sreo Hrista, a prihvatio sam Hrista i dao sve ono drugo što sam imao u zamenu. I got the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Zamenu sam dobio znanje o Isusu Hristu. I got the righteousness of Jesus Christ. He goes on to say now in verse 3, when I took Jesus Christ, I got the power of Jesus Christ. Verse 10, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. I onda deseti stih kaže da poznajem njega i silu vaskrsenja. Dobio je silu, dobio je snagu. The power of his resurrection. Silu vaskrsenja Hristovog. Why does he say the power of his resurrection? Zašto Pavle kaže silu vaskrsenja Hristovog? Probably because it is in the resurrection that we have the most graphic display.